You're gonna be like, WTF Sarah, what the hell does this have to do with life? The determining factor of your life is quite simple. It comes down to a few things. How do you see the world? How do you interact with things, with people, with your surroundings? What is your attitude like? And in this video, I'm gonna give you a pretty fun example. And I know that everyone's gonna know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> We're gonna look at the show SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> I love Spongebob, okay? <laughs> if you're a fan of Spongebob, let me know in the comments below because I could reference that show all day long. So I wanna take a look at the character of Spongebob and we're gonna look at a few others here too. Whether or not you like his character or you find him annoying or whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. Instead, I want you to immerse yourself into being SpongeBob and being in his shoes and viewing life from his eyes, okay? I think we can all agree that SpongeBob, it's funny saying that is I think that we can all agree that SpongeBob is a positive, happy, just grateful person or character. He's a grateful sponge, <laughs> even if it's just delusionally so. He doesn't sit around and complain or be negative or let things bring him down. Think of the episode of the hash slinging slasher. The hash slinging, the slash slinging. <laughs> you know, he has to work all night for the first time. The Krusty Krab is staying open for 24 hours. Could you imagine if that were to happen in your life, what would your response be? I know, personally, I'd be pissed and I'd be unhappy, and I'd be bitching, and I'd be complaining, and I'd be like, I can't believe I have to work all night long, blah, 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 no one's gonna come to the restaurant, blah, 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 blah. Like, all of these negative things, at least for me, and I'm sure the majority of you would spew out, right? But he goes in, he's all excited to work at night. <laughs> You know, something that would piss 99% of us off, he looks at from an angle of fun, of a new experience, of excitement. And then you have Squidward, who is my personal favorite character. He is an unhappy, negative, angry character. And honestly, like, <laughs> In a lot of ways, I think for a lot of us, he's the most relatable character, right? <laughs> he complains about everything, about everyone. He is just not a happy camper. You know, it's, it's rare in the show that we get to see him happy and get to see him enjoying life. And why is that? Well, it's because he doesn't view life the same way as SpongeBob does. He looks at it all as that Life is happening to him. The circumstances around him are controlling him. And those circumstances or people or whatever it may be, they easily sway his mood. And instead of going with the flow, he pushes back angrily, okay? Angrily at whatever that circumstance is. So again, I don't want you to look at these two characters from the outside like we would when we're watching the show, but through their eyes, how they view the world. Step into SpongeBob's shoes. This is so funny. <laughs> Step into Squidward's shoes. How would you rather live your life? Would you rather live your life through Squidward's eyes or SpongeBob's? Let me know in the comments below. Even though from the outside watching the show, Squidward's my favorite character, if I had to choose whose life I would want to live and how I would view the world and and experiences 100% I would be happy little Spongebob who doesn't get mad at pretty much about anything and views life as this game as this jungle gym as this experience who just loves everyone and sees the best in everyone and just all around has a damn good time <laughs> so would you rather live your life the way that Spongebob does or the way that Squidward does and now here's the real question and I want you to be honest with yourself. Which way are you living your life right now? Are you more like Squidward or are you more like SpongeBob? Personally, I'm probably like 35% Squidward and like 65% SpongeBob, but that can change on a day-to-day -day basis. Today I'm like 90% SpongeBob, but like two days ago I was like 90% Squidward, but all in all, what percentage of SpongeBob are you? 
And what percentage of Squidward are you? I would like to know in the comments below. So how do we switch from being Squidward dominant <laughs> I love making this video. How do we switch from being Squidward dominant to SpongeBob dominant? First, we stop taking life so damn seriously. You know, society, parents, whoever, they have taught us over and over again that life is about survival. You have to pay your dues and you have to work to get by and you have to do your part and playtime is saved for after the work is done. But in reality, if we're living our lives through SpongeBob's eyes, it doesn't have to be that way. We can choose to not take things so seriously. We can choose to roll with the punches, go with the flow and, and decide to enjoy the things in life that are mundane, that we initially perceive to be negative. You know, we can, we can choose those things. You know, instead of bitching about the house being messy and having to clean the house, we can throw on some music and grab a broom and freaking dance with the broom while we're cleaning. You know, we can enjoy those things and, and that's what people mean by romanticizing their lives romanticizing, enjoying every little thing. And it takes practice. <laughs> you know, instead of being angry that we're stuck in traffic, enjoy the alone time. Cause a lot of us don't get enough of it. Instead of complaining about snow, hi, hello, me. This is kind of what inspired this video was cause I was driving to the gym and I was all pissed off that it was cold. <laughs> We can instead bask in the beauty and the silence that it gives us. Finding the enjoyment in all the things and everything. And the second way we can learn to live more through SpongeBob's eyes is to not allow outside circumstances to determine our mood, to destabilize our mood. Think about it. How often is Squidward around SpongeBob and he is bitching and complaining and being negative and sometimes even towards SpongeBob, like he's calling SpongeBob annoying and mad at him and just being negative to SpongeBob. And SpongeBob doesn't even let it phase him at all. He's just like, whatever. I don't care how Squidward's acting. I don't care that he's being rude to me or saying this to me. I'm not going to let that change my mood. I'm not going to let someone else or some other circumstance or something in the external world to change anything about me. You know, he's living internally within his own happiness. So it doesn't matter what's going on outside of him. It only matters what's going on inside. You know, and some people might call this delusional, right? But my question is, who cares? <laughs> like, who cares if the, the world is crumbling around you and you can still find a sliver of enjoyment or peace or whatever it may be, why does it matter what they think of you? And you know, maybe that's a, a third point here. To step into SpongeBob's shoes and see the world through his eyes, stop caring about what other people think so much. It doesn't matter. Okay, what matters is, is you. You matter and the way that you view life and, and your own happiness and your peace and your fulfillment. That's what matters. So screw everyone else. Screw the Squidwards. <laughs> No, oh, society says you shouldn't be happy or your parents say this, or your partner says this, or your friends say, oh, you shouldn't be happy. Well, stop letting them Squidward your SpongeBob, okay? <laughs> Don't let them. Stop letting the world and other people disturb you so greatly and stop taking everything so seriously. We're all gonna die anyway, so enjoy, enjoy the ride. <laughs> That's what my grandpa always said. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter what happens. It's about enjoying the ride while we're here. Well, I didn't mean to get emotional there. <laughs> my, uh, my grandpa passed away, I think it was 13 years ago, and we were really close. So um, <laughs> sometimes it just hits me out of nowhere like that, but enjoy the ride, you know? The choice is yours. So do you want to be SpongeBob or do you want to be Squidward? If you found value in this video, it would mean the world to me if you would like it and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it means a lot to me. And then we can hang out again next week. I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.